Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Several months ago, I was walking around a neighborhood in Buffalo called Allentown, and I happened upon this brick wall. I suspect it one time was a window, and they bricked it over. And as I looked at it, to me, it was just begging for a mural to be painted in there. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to take this stock image of this woman peeking out about this white card and we're going to have her as though she was painted on the wall peeking over the ledge. Now we have to do a couple things to the individual images first to prepare them. Uh, first of all we're going to create what's called a displacement map. Once we place her on this brick wall it has to look as though she's actually a painting on the bricks not a photograph. So to do that, we're going to create this displacement map. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this background layer by hitting Command-J on my Mac. It's Control-J on your PC. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make this monochrome. To do that, it's Shift-Command-U uh, to make it monochrome. Now I want to increase the contrast even more. So we're going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and we're going to go to curves. And with curves, there's a drop down at the top. And I'm going to go to that drop down and we're going to go to strong contrast right there. Just like that. You could see how it just increased the contrast a lot. We're going to click OK. Now, all we need to do is save this as a Photoshop file. So we're going to go up to File, Save As, and I'm going to call it a Displacement Map DM. Dot PSD and we're going to save it uh, to my desktop just like that. So we save that file. Now we need to just delete this uh, layer one. So I'll hit the delete key and we're right back kind of where we started. Now we're going to go over to the stock photo I have of the woman peeking over this white card. And what I want to do is clip her out of that. So we get rid of the background and get rid of the white card. And to do that, what we're going to do is get a selection tool. Uh, just hit the W key on your keyboard and you'll go right to this little selection tool cubby, which contains three tools. But we're not going to use any of those. We're going to go right up to the top and go to Select Subject. And we're going to let Photoshop figure out what the subject is. And we'll see how Photoshop does. And it looks like it selected her. And what we'll do is we're going to then just duplicate the area that's selected. And to do that on a Mac, hit Command-J on a PC, Control-J. And I'll turn off that background layer. And you can see it did a pretty good job selecting her. And I think it's good enough for what we're going to be doing. Again, we're, we're making it, it's going to look like a painting on the wall. It's not going to look like a photograph on the wall. So it doesn't have to be a perfect selection. And I think this is good enough. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move this image on top of the wall. To do that, get the Move tool. Hit the V key on your keyboard, V for victory. For the Move tool, it's the top tool over here. We're just going to click right on her and drag her up to the tab of the wall, then set her on the wall. Now I need to resize it. I want it a lot bigger, so I'm going to hit Command-T on my Mac to go into Transform mode. It's Control-T on a PC. And we'll just make it much, much larger, like something like that. And we'll line it up so that it is right on that ledge, uh, so her hands are peeking over that. And when I'm happy with that, I'll click the little check mark. Now our selection was okay, but it wasn't perfect. There's some little white areas uh, between her fingers. Let me zoom in a little by hitting Command Plus on my Mac. A couple times I'll hold the space bar in so I could drag over. And you can see these white areas there. I just want to get rid of those, so I'm going to add a layer mask. We'll go down here in the lower right hand corner. Click on the little mask icon, and I'm going to get a brush by hitting the B key on my keyboard for brush. I'm going to make sure I'm painting in black. If black isn't the foreground color, hit the X key on your keyboard to swap them. And then what we're just going to do is we're just going to just quickly paint in there. Now, it doesn't have to again to be perfect because, again, this is hopefully when we're all said and done, it's going to look like at best a mural on the wall, at worst graffiti on the wall. So I don't think we need to worry about uh, worry about it if we like accidentally take away a chunk of her finger or anything like that. So 
So we'll do that. Come in here and get rid of this white. So I just want to clean that up a little bit. Like that. I mean, I didn't even refine our selection. That's how it was. Now, as I'm in closer, I could look at where I placed it. It looks okay. I think everything's good. We'll hit Command-0, Control-0 on a PC to fit it to screen. I'm going to hit Command-, minus just to make it a, a touch smaller. So, so far, so good. It looks decent. Um, now we need to use that displacement map to make it look like she's more painted on the bricks and not just a photograph laid over a photograph of bricks. So to do that, we're going to click right on the layer so she's active, not on the mask. So we're clicked on the layer of the lady. And then what we're going to do is go to Filter, Distort, Displace. Then it's uh, got some default numbers of 10 and 10, stretch to fit, and repeat edge pixels. We'll stay with that and click OK. Now it's going to ask us for the file. And remember, we saved that displacement map file to our desktop. So we'll click on that and click Open. And you'll see it's going to just do it slightly. Um, might not have even noticed it much. But it will help once we do some different blend modes and things. <clears throat> now what I'd like to do is, oh, well, let's just jump right to the blend modes. We'll go to Normal, right where it says Normal, and click on that. And we're going to go down to, let's say, Overlay. You can see what Overlay looks like, Soft Light looks like. You can see how now it looks like she's more painted on the wall as opposed to, uh, you know, a photograph on top of a photograph. So um, Overlay looks all right. You could try some of the others as well. Go with Overlay, I think, right now. Now, there's some more you could do. I mean, if you're happy with this, you could stop here. But there's some other things we could do. We could try to make it more like a painting. And what we'll do is we'll add um, a filter to this. So we're going to go up to Filter. And we're going to go to Filter Gallery. And it will open up in the Filter Gallery. And you may not see it because it's kind of zoomed in. So um, you may have to kind of search for it. this. You could go to the fit and go to like 33%. So you could see it a little better, 12%. There, that's probably a little better. So uh, right away, it by default went right to Fresco. That might have been the last one I used, I don't know. But you could try uh, some of the other ones. A lot of these, they, it must use a lot of uh, processing power, so it's taking uh, quite a bit to um, to render. Let's go with poster edges. That looks more like a painting, I believe, than what we had before. So I'll leave the default settings and we'll click OK. Now you can see it did what it did. Now if it you want it a little bit more intense, just hit Command or Control J to duplicate it and you could see that it made it a little bit stronger. And then we could go to the opacity then and kind of dial in uh, the amount we want it to uh, be rendered on the on the brick wall. So now it looks more like uh, an actual painting on the brick wall. So that's it. Just some, you know, some something to do uh, when you're bored. You might uh, go out and take some photos of brick walls, and then maybe take a photo of a loved one and make it look like they were painted on the wall. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>